Welcome back to the Daily Mastermind, George Wright III with your daily dose of inspiration, motivation, and education. If this is your first time listening to the podcast, welcome, welcome back. For those of you that have been here before, hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any episodes and do me a favor and if you learned something good today or if it's something that helps to inspire and motivate you, then share the podcast. That's the way we help it grow. So with that in mind, I want to get you the Daily Mastermind quote of the day. I'm pulling it up out of the free mobile app. If you don't have that, by the way, that is just, and if you haven't taken time to go through it, the Daily Mastermind mobile app is just crammed full of content. Um, you got ebooks, audiobooks, meditations. Um, you know, man, there's just the podcast is in there, the blogs are in there, the, uh, you know, free ebooks. I've got so much stuff in there uh, and it's all free. So make sure you use it. You can use it to help you with your daily rituals as well, because whether you are doing, you know, meditation, affirmations, reading, journaling, whatever it is, we've got all of that stuff in there for you. So the quote of the day today is from Steve Harvey, and it is, you are in charge. You are in charge. You really are in charge of your life, but the question really is not whether you believe you're in charge, it's whether you're taking charge. Are you taking responsibility for your life? So let me ask you a question. How is your year going for you so far? How is 2023? Um, you know, I've talked with a lot of different people recently and they're like, wow, I can't believe how fast time is flying. Uh, I can't believe it's a new year, you know, and I want to say to them, it was a new year two weeks ago. <laughs> so are you killing it? Are you starting? Um, are you, are you killing your goals? Or are you still waiting to catch a little bit of momentum? Are you still waiting for a few things to line up for you? Or do you feel like you've already been set back? You're behind your goals. Maybe you, you've already not done what you wanted to do, or you've procrastinated. Now, how in the world would I be able to predict that? Well, because we all do, (laughs) every single one of us. And even if you had the most amazing goals out there, you've probably missed a step here or there. And that's okay. And that's okay. The, the, The question really becomes, are you focused on the growth or are you focused on the gap? You know, I've talked about that in the past, the gap or the gain. Are you focused on the progress you're making or what you have not made for progress? So here's the thing. The good news is this. The great news is this. You can definitely start again today. It's a fresh day. Isn't that amazing that we can every single day of our life start over and start fresh, creating the life that we want to live, the the life that's our best life, the life that we want and desire and deserve to create. That's the great news because the power is that you really are in charge of your life. You really are the one that creates your life. We talked about that a little bit last week, but The really important question here is, even if you believe, whether you believe or not that you create your life, you can make the decision to be responsible for your life and take charge of your life. Do what it takes to get control and start focusing on creating your best life starting right now. Starting right now. Leave the baggage of the past. And when I say the past, I mean even the past nine days. Leave the baggage of the past. Start taking responsibility and move forward. Guess what? That immediately gives you a win. You are immediately empowered when you make the decision that I create my life, I'm going to take responsibility, and regardless of how much progress I've made, and this means even if you have made a lot of progress, you are going to continue to have that pressure of taking responsibility on yourself so that you can create the best life that you could possibly want. So no more excuses. What does it mean to take responsibility and be in control of your life? It means no more excuses. There's literally no excuse that you have not to be accomplishing your goals and moving forward. There's only temporary setbacks or circumstances that you can overcome, but you've got to decide that it's up to you. You've got to decide it's up to you. And the other thing you've got to do to really take control of your life and responsibility is you've got to recognize that every single moment is important, meaning right now. So many of us are either caught up in the past or we're thinking about what we're going to do when we get to work or what we're going to do later this week when we have that meeting, what we're going to do when we launch that first ad or when we make that next call. And that's not what's most important because that's not even real yet. What's important is right now. What are you doing this moment? What are you doing in the present? Because the only thing you can affect is the present. See, this is the subtle part about taking responsibility we don't talk about. Because If you really think about it, so many people talk about, well, I create my life and I take responsibility and I'm always solution oriented, but what are you doing right now? Because the real secret to taking responsibility for your life is being present. It's being present 
and knowing that the only moment that you can affect is right now. It's not planning for the future. That's not taking responsibility. It's not organizing what you're going to do. It's doing something right now. So how do you do that? Well, you start by taking accountability for your time. Are you tracking your time? Minute by minute, hour by hour, day by day. You know, some of us use this excuse that, oh, that would be so overwhelming to be stuck on a schedule. Really? Is it overwhelming to think that you'll have the best possible life that you could have? Is it overwhelming to think that you could be the best version of yourself and you could create results? Is it overwhelming to think that when you have time scheduled for your family, for communication, for partner meetings, for sales versus marketing versus operations, is that overwhelming? It is if you're focused on that. But when you're focused on the benefits and the big picture and creating your life, it's not. You've got to take accountability of your time today. And when you're in that time, when you're tracking that time, focus on solutions. Don't focus on the problem. When you take responsibility, you're, you're deciding you're going to fix and create solutions. So start fixing solutions. The other thing you could do is you can start tracking your results. If you don't have a scoreboard of what you're doing, and I, and I, and I guarantee you you don't because every single person I've talked with has not. And I talk to a lot of people all the time. You've got to track those key metrics, those key performance indicators, we call them KPIs in any business, that create the results. And you know you can back your goal down into the measurable things you need to do on a yearly, monthly, weekly, daily basis, and then track those things. If it's prospecting, if it's making calls, if it's doing demos, if it's holding meetings, whatever it is, track those activities and track your results so you know whether you're making progress. Because here's the thing most of us do. Most of us go too long without adjusting our course. In other words, I mean, think about it. How many times have you told yourself, man, I can't believe the year's gone by. I'm just not further along. Well, how would you possibly let one more day go by and you're not further along without adjusting your course? It's because you're not tracking your activity and results. So track your time, track your activity, track your results, and get some help if you need to get some help. You know, that's a lot of the challenge a lot of us have. If you take responsibility, then you recognize that you don't know everything. And that if you're taking responsibility, you're going to find the individuals that can help you to accomplish your goals. And the people that have done it before are the best to do that. I don't care if it's a mentor, a coach, a personal trainer, uh, you know, a counselor, a therapist, whatever it is. Get the results from help from people that can help you that have done it. And the last thing I want to suggest to you is this. What can you do exactly today? In other words, what can you do? What's that big domino, you know, as Gary Keller talks about in The One Thing, the book I talk about a lot. What's the one thing you could do today such that if you did that, everything else would become easier? Is it making a phone call? Is it prospecting? Is it calling leads? Is it writing a blog article? Is it contacting someone in particular? Is it holding a training so that you can leverage your time? What is that one thing you can do that will be the catalyst to all the other things that you're trying to accomplish? And that what that'll do is it'll help you to be less overwhelmed in any given moment. What's the one thing you can do? Then what you want to do is you want to create daily rituals that will help you to continue to knock away at those those big dominoes and those things that will help you to create a win. Because let's face it, the best thing you can do to feel fulfilled, to make progress and to be successful is to get a win. Not a win down the road, not a win ultimately when your business gets to where it wants to be. A win is today. It's winning the day. And when you win the day, you make results, you increase your beliefs, you increase your confidence and self-esteem, and you increase your success. And that is what we're trying to do. Grow, develop, create the success, the wealth, health, and happiness that you're looking for and you deserve. And so to do that, I really, really encourage you today to start taking responsibility for what it is you're going to do in your life. And you can only do that in the moment. So right now, what can you do? That's my message for today. I hope you have an amazing day. Look forward to talking with you more tomorrow. Once again, this is George Wright III, and this has been The Daily Mastermind. Talk to you tomorrow.